Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would film another Four Looks One Palette video because you guys seem to really like them and I also have a great time filming them. So today I'm diving into the Sugar Pill 10th Anniversary Capsule Palette. I just love these capsules. They're so cute. They're probably the cutest palettes I've seen in such a long time. These capsule palettes retail for $42 over on Sugar Pill's website. This was sent to me in PR. This is what the palette looks like. It has a nice mirror on this side and then we've got all of the shades. There is a sort of bigger bl blush shade in each of the capsules, but I just use it as eyeshadow because why not? <laughs> and like all of my Four Lux One palette videos, I use every single shade in the palette. That's the whole point of doing these videos. It's to show you guys every shade and different ways that you can create looks from this palette. I also have the rest of the pills. So if you would like to see videos for those as well, please let me know down in the comments below. They're so cute. So if you wanna see the four looks I created using the 10th anniversary capsule palette, then please keep on watching. So for look number one, I have this cool kind of space girl graphic liner pink eye look. So to start off, I'm taking the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in the shade Duchess, and I'm going to start mapping out the shape of my eye look. So I'm starting in the inner corner, and I'm creating this shape for more of like a halo eye, but then I'm going to go towards the outer V and create a wing. The reason I'm using a pencil to draw out the shape first is shadows tend to stick better to a base. So I'm just drawing this out to really get that shape down before applying the shadows. So I drag that line into the crease and then I extend the wing and draw a line over top and it gives this really cool shape. Then I'm going to take the opposite side of the liner pencil. It's a smudger. <laughs> I say smudger. <laughs> a smudger. And I'm just smudging out the line so it's not a super harsh line. Then jumping into the palette, I'm taking the shade Pill Kitty on an angled liner brush. I'm going to start stamping that shadow on top of where I placed the liner previously. Next up, I picked up this, I'm going to call this a smudging brush as well, and I just start going over all of the lines just to kind of make it a little bit softer looking. Now back in the palette, I'm taking the shade Valentine on a small detail brush, and I'm adding this to the inner and outer corners of the eye. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go back into the palette and take the shade Shrinkle. It's this beautiful shimmery pink shade and I'm just applying that to the center of my lid with my finger. And I'm picking up that smudging brush with more of the shade Pill Kitty on it and I am just making it cute how I want it to look. Then I'm taking the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Pink Spirit and I'm adding this to my waterline and along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to be picking up more of Valentine and adding this to the entire lower lash line. And I just took a little bit more of Pill Kitty, that purple, and added it right there so that it would transition nicely. Then I just took more of Shrinkle and added this to the inner corner of the eye. And then for lashes, these are the Kiss Lashes Teddy Lashes. And this is the finished look.
Okay, for look number two, we've got sort of a watermelon girl vibe going on. So to start it off, I'm taking the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Emerald Cut, and I'm going to be drawing this on the outer third of my eye. Then I'm just taking a brush and kind of smudging that into the skin, and this is going to be our eyeshadow base. And I'm taking the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Orange Zest and doing the same thing on the inner corner of the eye. So first applying the liner and then taking a brush and smudging it in. Going into the palette, I'm taking the shade Lacy, and I'm going to add that on top of the inner corner of the eye. And I'm using a MAC 230, I don't even know what brushes these are anymore, 217. 217? Sounds familiar. Uh, then I'm taking the shade Cali and I'm adding this to the outer third of the eye. And this shade I feel like is probably the patchiest, it's a little bit hard to work with. You just gotta really try and work with it and blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm taking the shade Oaklandish from the palette. It's a beautiful frosty mint green, and I'm adding this to the center of my lid with my finger. Then we're moving on to the lower lash line, and I'm doing basically the same exact thing that I did on the top of the bottom. So first I started off with pencils, and then I'm layering the shades over top. Then I'm just taking the shade High Cutie, which is a shimmery peach, and I'm adding this to the inner corner of the eye. I'm doing the same lashes for every look, so these are the Kiss Lashes Teddy Lashes, and this is the finished look. Alright, I don't actually know how to describe this look, I just really, really liked it. So, to start off, I'm taking the shade DTLA, which is such pretty cool tone lavender and I am packing this on the lid and into the crease and then I'm taking a much larger blending brush with, with some of that shade on it and I'm starting to blend that out. Next I'm taking the shade Addicted to Pretty on my finger and I am adding this to the lid. I love these cool tone lavenders. I'm obsessed. Then I'm taking NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm going to be winging this out. Then moving on to the lower lash line, I'm adding more DTLA and adding Addicted to Pretty on the inner half. But I also wanted to add a different shade, so I added Oaklandish to the inner corner of the eye to make this very spacey. I don't know, does this look spacey to you? Then I'm taking more of the NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm drawing these sort of bottom lashes. I think it was cool how it turned out and it added a little something different. So basically I'm just drawing like some triangles underneath my eye. Then I just popped on the Kiss Teddy Lashes and this is the finished look. Alright, so for look number four, I realized I hadn't used the blue yet, so I had this in my head. So I'm starting off with the KVD pencil in Satellite, and I am drawing out the shape. This is going to be like a winged cut crease kind of look. don't really know how to describe it, but I'm taking the time to get my shape right with my pencil first. and then I'm slightly smudging that out. Okay. 
And then I'm taking that same green pencil from before. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Emerald Cut to draw the green parts. And then we're doing a little smudgy smudgy. Now going into the palette, I'm taking the shade After Party 2020, that blue, on a winged liner brush and I start stamping the shadow on top of the liner. Then I'm taking the shade Cali on a MAC. It's this flat blending brush and I'm starting to pack that and do some windshield wiper motions to slightly blend that as I go. And then I'm taking that smudging brush from earlier with more of the blue and blending over the shades so that they transition nicely into each other. Next I'm taking the shade Oaklandish and I am placing that all over the lid where I didn't place any shadow. And then I'm just adding some on top of the shadows. Then I'm going to work on the lower lash line so I'm doing what I did above below taking the blue on the outer half of the lower lash line and then transitioning that into the green. And then I'm popping the blue liner in my waterline. Then for lashes, these are the Kiss Teddy Lashes and this is the finished eye look. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those four looks I created using the Sherpel 10th Anniversary Capsule Palette. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I have created a schedule, a rough schedule. I will be uploading every Sunday from here on out and then possibly one to two times during the week randomly but that sunday video is definitely happening so put on your notifications so that you don't miss another video if you did want to see more four lux one palette videos please let me know which palette you'd like to see next down in the comments below and hopefully i will see you on my next video bye guys